Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another movie reaction commentary. Today, we're going to be watching The Royal Tenenbaums. Now, I'm really excited about this because this is a Wes Anderson film. Now, <clears throat> the thing I love about this channel is that prior to me starting this, I had seen, I believe, uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox, but that was like way, way, way back. I did not know that it was made by Wes Anderson, um, but I think I've only seen his stop motion uh, films and I didn't know at all that you know about his you know live action films and we've watched several of his on the channel like I believe it was the Grand Budapest Hotel um, I mean we watched uh, uh, I'm trying to think of like the life of aquatic as well too I'm pretty sure we watched something else along the way but I'm really excited oh yeah I think it was like Moonrise Kingdom I'm really excited to jump into the Royal Tenenbaums because this was recommended to me ever since you know we left off at I believe it was Moonrise Kingdom and I'm really excited about this not just because it's a Wes Anderson film but because Ben Stiller is in this like I am I'm really excited about that I know that Wes Anderson he usually has his cast of people that he always rotates with his uh, his project but it's really nice to see new people enter the fray not to say that it's a bad thing when they don't or uh, when they do but it's always nice to see how these actors are going to going to be portrayed in a Wes Anderson film and I love that I love seeing actors kind of like bring out their quirky ness into the fray when it comes to just acting and storytelling and i'm really excited to see what ben stiller is able to bring to the table with this and i'm just ah, i'm just I'm, i can't wait you know it's been too long since we watched a wes anderson film so guys i'm excited about that and yes i have got my eyes out on the the newest one that's about to come out as well too kind of forgot the name of it it's not coming to me at at this moment but i do know that um that film is on its way so be on the lookout for that i'm gonna do my best to you know get you guys a reaction commentary to that as well too but like always guys i just want to say thank you so much for the support and the love um i hope that you guys are doing good i hope that you guys are you know enjoying time with family friends yourself um you know reading some books manga comic books all that good stuff just you know don't forget to take some time for yourself you know it's important so um yeah despite the lecture <laughs> i just want to say again thank you so much and if you want to be able to support this channel even more feel free to like comment subscribe as well as sharing the video it really does help as well as checking out the patreon link if that is something that you want to do and check out like the early access and um you know full length content and all that good stuff in the polls so if, again if you want to help out this channel and reach a bigger audience or help me out personally you have those options but again i'm just happy that you're here and we can kind of like share this moment together so without further ado you know the drill let me stop talking let's get right into the royal Tannenbaums. Again, this is just a little heads up in case if you want to watch everything and maybe your favorite scene just didn't make the, the YouTube cut, definitely check out that full length in the Patreon link below. Goes in Chas's left hand. Margot Tannenbaum was adopted at age two. Her I'm loving like how this film is like showcasing all the stories to us, especially with the children. He turned pro at 17 and won the U.S. Nationals three years in a row. <laughs> Yo, these kids are straight, like, genetically modified. <laughs> like, what the heck? So I'm really excited to see what the story is going to be about. I try my best not to gush too much about the compositions and the shots because it's Wes Anderson. But if I see a good shot, I'm going to say it. Oh, sweetie. Yikes. Don't be mad at me. That's just. Did it have some affliction, affliction towards her father? Oh man, I'm so excited. I am really excited. <laughs> I can just tell. Like sometimes, you know, with films or certain directors, you just know you're gonna have a really good time with because they just have such a incredible style to them, and they bring forth that to every story like i love that literary celebrity well everyone knows custer died at little bighorn what this book presupposes is maybe he didn't I mean, <laughs> that's good <laughs> maybe he didn't <laughs> Owen wilson is great tenenbaums knew she was a smoker which she had been since the age of 12. nor were they aware of her first marriage and divorce to a recording artist in jamaica <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 
What? What on earth? <laughs> so far, she's like my favorite character at the moment. <laughs> There's definitely a lot of secrecy with her life. Seems like she likes to prefer it that way, too. With a highly acute sense of hearing, there is also evidence. Of... I'm not colorblind, am I? I'm afraid you are. <laughs> I love how he just says a highly acute sense of hearing, and then the guy looks over like, like, dude, I can hear you. Man, that Adidas outfit on him is kind of fire, though. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's kind of fire. <laughs> yes. Will you marry me? I, I love you. Man. Wow. Oh, oh snap. Oh, snap. But had not considered a single one until this moment. Aw. This isn't really a tax issue, is This it? is... This is interesting. I like what's happening. Even though I don't know what's happening. It's basically I'm getting like an introduction dump. But this is super entertaining. What do you got? The black man asked her to be his wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh that is that is that is great <laughs> the black man has asked your wife <laughs> oh beautiful <laughs> oh my god <laughs> what's it gonna expect to see Owen Wilson just hiding in the closet <laughs> with a cowboy hat on Borderline naked. Escort, the one from his days on the circuit, to meet him at the pier by way of the Green Line bus. Hi. I just love how the camera movement is just being displayed here. Like, as a cinematographer, or someone who started uh, filmmaking as a cinematographer, and, you know, with a lot of film photography, it's just really pleasing to just see how well shot some of these frames are because it's more than just how it looks good but there's a story in it too um, Wes Anderson low-key uses a lot of styles from street photography to frame his shots well she wasn't your real grandmother and I never knew how much interest you had uh, sweetie anyway you're invited now <laughs> Man, the dialogue is so funny to me. I'm so sorry, but like, ah, like the, the humor in it is so matter of fact. It's, it's just great. Look at that old grizzly bear. <laughs> oh, man. This is, this is family drama done right. This is great. <laughs> That's right, we've got another body buried here, haven't we? Uh, hold on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my man stripped the flowers in half. <laughs> he said, oh wow, we got another body buried here, don't we? Oh, snap. Wow, that's how she got her finger chopped off. Jesus. Surprised you didn't have your hand chopped off. He also stole bonds out of my safety deposit box when I was 14. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even know how to respond to that. He was just like... What'd you say? Hmm? What? I didn't say anything. When? Right now? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. It's just like... <laughs> I don't know why, like, some of these moments be cracking me up, man. It's like little moments like that where I just be laughing. Good night, my boy. So Anderson is doing a great job just kind of, like, showcasing a lot of, like, the family dynamics that are going on here. Obviously, like, this is one of the films that his camera movement isn't as, like, you know, insane, you know, or moving around as much like in, for example, uh, the Grand Budapest Hotel. However, I feel like his characters are doing a lot more movement than his other films that we watched on the channel. 
I know you, asshole! <laughs> Dude, old Wilson is like cracking me up in every scene he's in. What is going on? <laughs> How long do you intend to stay here? I don't know. Also, find it super funny that Bill Murray is just playing this character who is just <laughs> having a tough time trying to get his wife to love him. <laughs> Putting a brick through the other guy's windshield. I'm talking about taking it out and chopping it up. What do you mean? Oh man, they about to do some they about to do some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yo yo I, i'm not gonna lie i'm having a really good time watching you know the grandfather trying to like you know build some memories with his grandkids i wonder if he's truly happy i think he is truly happy in this moment because i can tell he's just a body walking full of regrets well, I agree if I thought he was really going to die in six weeks, but I don't. Oh, dang. Yeah, he called it. Got the sucker on the ropes. <laughs> Yo, this dude, man, he's he's a little freaking a little slimy dude. But, like, it's interesting because, like, there's moments where he's with his, like, grandkids. And I really think he's genuinely happy there. But then there's also this character within him that is just a scumbag. <laughs> if you think you can march, you want to talk some jive? I'll talk some jive. I'll talk some jive like you never heard. Oh, yeah? Dude. Oh, my goodness. I said sit down. Oh, I heard you. I want you out of my house. I'm just as bad as you are. I'm the ass out. Don't talk semantics with me. No, that's just not you. What's going on here? Oh, my God. Wow, that was intense. <laughs> that was actually intense. The name of the patient is Royal Tenenbaum. Hmm. Is that a Tic Tac? <laughs> oh, no. He said, yo, is this a Tic Tac? I'm actually having a really good time with this film. I really am. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> he just says, I'm going to go. The pain is excruciating. How would you know? My wife had it. Mm. Damn. Yikes. Oh, boy. Oh, shit, man. Damn it. That, that, that sucks. That really sucks. I wasn't expecting them to find out this early in the film. So this is going to be an interesting dynamic on how they go about each other now. Hmm. Immediately after making this statement, Royal realized that it was true. Mm. Yeah, that's what we've been wondering. Well, I've been wondering. I've just been wondering if it was... If he actually feels those. Because like, he was genuinely having a good time. But I'm going to live. Hmm. Dang. Part of me really does feel bad for him. But, but a part of me doesn't as well. <laughs> God damn. That's the last time you put a knife at me. Hear me? Why'd he stab him? Why the hell did he stab him like that? What? Is this all part of the plan? Is this another part of the plan here? I love that so many shots are happening outside in the open. I'm so used to, like, you know, shots being held inside, like, a confined space or area. It doesn't feel like there's a world outside of Wes Anderson's films. You know, it's all confined. But here, it's just it, it does feel like these guys exist in a world, if that makes sense. But the sales are... 
Oh my god. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh my god, he almost looks like Tom Cruise here. What the heck? <laughs> Why does he almost look like Tom Cruise here? That's kind of crazy looking. Now he looks like a rugby player. <laughs> oh, man. I love how the colors look in this. Like, everything looks so gritty and highly saturated in vibrancy. This is, like, most definitely the most cerebral scene I've ever seen of Wes Anderson. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness, man. Jesus. Can you paraphrase it for us? I don't think so. Is it dark? <laughs> he just asked if it was dark, and it's a suicide note. Of course it's going to be dark, dang it. You've made a cuckold of me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I never would have thought I heard Bill Murray's whisper. You've made a cuckold of me. Oh, my God. We could shimmy up that gutter. <laughs> Immediately tries to figure out how he could sneak into the room. Like, he loves his kids. Like, he really does. Hmm. You know, it's interesting because the same thing with, um, I believe his name is Yorgos. Uh, he did uh, The Lobster and uh, The Killing of a Sacred Deer. And how his characters act within his films is like the same way with Wes Anderson's characters act within his films. They just are a different universe, and I, I really do appreciate that. That's probably illegal. I don't think so. We're not related by blood. Still frowned upon. But then what isn't these days, right? I'm happy that he asked his father for advice or at least his thoughts on the matter. You know, and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, Royal is probably really enjoying this as well, too. That's a trick question. You don't have one. Helen. Damn. That was my mother's name. I know it was. Damn. Jeez. Man, I'm not going to lie, guys, like out of all the uh, the films that I've watched of Wes Anderson's, this is definitely more of um, I, I don't mean this in a bad way. This is definitely more adult than uh, the other films. I feel like it's just its maturity level is just slightly higher than the other ones. Hello. Hello, sir. You just sign here, initial here and sign there. Wow. You own this building, don't you, Henry? Wow. This is... What, what a 180, man. I believe so. I really don't know. Oh, God. Who the hell is that? What? Here I come. What the hell is that? Did I hit anyone? Is everybody okay? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, <help>. oh my god. <laughs> mm -hmm. Honestly, that looks like a pretty good place to zen out. I don't think you're an asshole, Royal. I just think you're kind of a son of a bitch. Well, I really appreciate that.
<laughs> well, I really appreciate that. I'm happy these two are like kind of like kicking it now. You're Eli Cash. Yes, indeed, I am. I love your work. Oh, how sweet of you to say. <laughs> Yo. Oh, man. Love this camera movement that's happening here, too. What's his name? Spark. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, that's awesome. This was awesome. This is a pretty wholesome movie. Blowing up a gale today. This is the grip that Rod Laver used. Are you familiar with Laver? Richie started a program. Man, this is so cool. This is super cool, man. I'm happy for everybody. <laughs> nice. Nice. But it was agreed among them that Royal would have found the event to be most satisfactory. Fire! You know, their Adidas track shoots are freaking hilarious. I love that they like that's their style. <laughs> Reminds me of uh the gentleman from Guy Ritchie and the outfits that were in that one. That was awesome. Guys, and that wraps up the Royal Tenenbaums. All right, everybody, we just got done wrapping up the Royal Tenenbaums. I had a really great time with this one. And I, I again, like Wes Anderson, it's always a beautiful ride with his films because they take you down a journey that is so unorthodox and not like any other film or storytelling narrative that you've witnessed prior. And with 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 that in mind, every time you step into the theater or every time you step into his stories, you have this instant um, bias, you know, of like you're about to enter a world that's truly his and it's truly extraordinary. And I find that to be incredible to have as a director. You know, there's only very few of those. And Wes Anderson is, you know, one of the special once when it comes to that and I, I i love the mind and the imagination that comes forth from this man and being able to present it into a, onto the screen is just like incredible but yeah i had a really great time with this film overall though i i think i i still think my personal favorite is the grand budapest hotel I absolutely freaking love that. And it's just it's so funny that that happened to be like, I think my first one that I watched on the channel. But um, yeah, I, I've been loving that. And ever since then, I've been loving Wes Anderson's live action films. Um, I would love to like revisit some of his animations and just to see, you know, how they um, compare to the live action ones. Cause I haven't seen his live action, I mean, his, his, anim his claymation films um, for years. Like I haven't seen Fantastic Mr. Fox for like, I can't even remember when was the last time I seen that. But I think the most recent one that I saw was Isle of Dogs. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that was about it. But guys, let me know if there's any other films that I can kind of watch on his, uh, watch of his. Um, I would love to definitely get to as many films of his as possible, especially with the newest one coming out soon, which I'm really excited about. But you guys let me know what your thoughts are about this i love the maturity of this one yet it still kept the charm of wes anderson and especially towards the end with the father trying his best to you know or i should say self-reflecting and realizing that yeah being a being a, a bad person you know even if that is your character will always leave you a sad person and he just got tired of feeling sad and he wanted to do the right thing and it's really awesome seeing that pay off um i i really enjoyed that so guys let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below and like always guys i'm very grateful for you i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day stay healthy stay hydrated because we are just getting started purple jacket pocket full of weed everything that i should ever need grab some matches cause they give them free just like my time hair pulled back in the back